Autobots transform. Everybody, I am back to close out my reviews of the Voltron 84 Lion Wave with the Black Lion. To be specific, the classics legendary Black Lion from Playmates. Here he is in front of me. He is huge inside that packaging. Here is the packaging and as you can see right here, if I can get it in, he was on clearance. I thought it was 15, well I guess it is 15. 14.98. Uh I most of my guys they gave me a price adjustment back on and but I guess cuz this had got so long I had to return my other Black Lion and actually um buy this after I returned it for the clearance price at Target. Go figure, whatever. But uh, here he is in his packaging. He's in a, a large scale window box. Um, front of the box, it shows you that he is the main figure to the body. Uh, recreation of the artwork from the 84 cartoon. Side of the box, Voltron's artwork. The castle down here. Back of the box, there is Voltron. Let me tell you some of the phrases he says. There is a little bit of bio for you to pause and read. And over here is a fully merged Voltron. And nothing much over there. And I'm going to get this guy unboxed right now. I'm very excited to get him out of here and do this. A lot of tape on this guy. But yeah, for um, and, and they still have this guy like at Walmart, Myers, and Target, at least around me in Michigan, Southeast Michigan, they have this guy on clearance. And he's just sitting there. I see him at least two per store sitting down on the bottom of the shelf. His last paw out. There is the Black Lion. Man, he's huge. The largest one I've ever had. That guy right there. Check the bottom of the box. Comes with uh, black and white instructions, same as the rest. Same little catalog for the products they offer as the rest. Let's get right into it man i always love the look of the black lion the black lion the head the way they designed the head has always been special to me i always loved loved it as a kid i love this little extra size oh and, and he's huge let me see if i can get him to balance here uh and then his paint so far i'm looking at it looks good all right, so here we have Keith's Black Lion from 1984 design. And we're going to take a look at his face and the sculpt. Immediately you can see inside the uh, the missile, like a lot of the other lions. And his is the same gray as the body. And I guess this is gray underneath the jaw, at least the jaw is. Oh, and up top, the Voltron face is gray. So, and the rest is, is painted white, but he has the gray missile in his mouth. And you can see the bottom of the face here. It's gray plastic. His eyes are a golden color. His ears are a golden plastic. Or the whatever these things. These things actually did something in robot mode before. They shot a beam, which was weird. But they're a golden plastic. Uh, he has the on-off button right here for his voice sound activation has gold molded plastic here as opposed to painted silver painted here which a lot of the other lines could have used this metallic silver has a little bit of gold paint on his waist under there it's very colorful here for the Voltron mode and this is a translucent gold plastic here I'm pretty sure it lights up his tail, there's some sound his tail is yellow plastic 
And his wings here are red plastic with white paint on them. They extend out. Of course, they stand up in the Voltron mode. So let me get to his articulation. His head, his mouth open and closes, of course, because the Voltron head comes out. And I just stuck the mouth down, the head down when I opened the mouth that time. And now it's stuck. You can't see nothing but the Voltron head. Let me flip that up. All right, but you can get his mouth open this far without seeing the Voltron head, which is cool. It doesn't snap shut like the other lions. Uh, he has a little bit of silver paint over here, too, by the hinge. His head, 360s. All right. He has a pretty good range of motion because it becomes the Voltron head. He really can't... The galaxy is about to be secure. Really can't Four look up. Voltron. Much at all. You can position him to where he's looking up. But, okay, his, his legs. His legs at the shoulder... 360s because of the Voltron. Well, actually, it doesn't 360. It's stopping. It's something in the design to stop it both ways. Only comes this far this way. Votor, your evil forces will never defeat us. Well, we're getting through the sound cycles now <laughs> by accident. Uh, legs come back this far. Can only come up this far in lion mode because the molding is stopping at the waist here. He has not no <laughs> wrist swivel at all in, in this arm because it folds up and stores away but you come down to what is the elbow of the of the leg it comes up this far goes back that far pretty decent range of motion there and the same the paw is the same as the rest of them his ratchet sounds a little bit soft back here comes all the way back here because it turns into the leg yeah we're getting through that <laughs> won't be no need to go over that he has a thigh swivel it's pretty cool and probably useful in Voltron mode. He has a hinge at the upper ankle and the lower ankle, unlike the rest of the lions. Okay, and I just realized I was trying to get him in a sitting pose, and I just realized because of this, you really can't get him to sit down like the other lions, which is kind of a bummer if you're posing them that way. They would have to be sitting, and he would just be standing up over those guys, I guess. Because of the way the legs are, you just, you just can't really. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Anyway, let's go over the sound bites and see what he says. Lotor, your evil forces will never defeat us. And the chest piece lights up when you hit the, hit the button. Form Voltron. Activate laser blades. <laughs> Hagar's Rue Beast is about to have a bad day. The galaxy is about to be secure. Form Voltron. They'll soon be defeated by Voltron, defender of the universe. We will defend this planet. Lotor, your evil forces will never defeat us. Hagar's Rue Beast is about to have a bad day. I think that's all of them. Activate laser blades. Maybe not. Form Voltron! We will defend this planet! They'll soon be defeated by Voltron! Defender of the Universe! <laughs> the galaxy is about to be secure! All right, Form now, Voltron! I think that's all of them now. And, uh... Pretty large, pretty sweet. This would be the only one that I would buy as a standalone if I wasn't getting any of the rest of them. Because but he's huge and he will sit there and display very well just, just in your collection just by himself. He's almost like a bookend piece himself. Just If you have this, you just, you're just representing Voltron just by having this. And now, I want to put him to the side. Normally, I would wait to bonus review this guy. But because... Okay, before I get it open, I'm going to take a look at it or let you guys take a look at it. And um, you can see my box has a little bit going on inside. I accidentally set it in some water and it soaked it all up and warped the cardboard uh, sitting on the counter. Anyway, here is the packaging for DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender. Legendary Black Lion from the new Netflix, the new Ur Netflix series now streaming on Netflix the front of the packaging. Here's the new more modern lion side of the box Eww. 
Back with the box here he is on the box. It actually says the phrases, a few of the phrases that he says or will say. Hope the electronics still work. I've had this thing in the box for about a year and a half, maybe a little bit over. Then they dropped it in a gift set, which I like the gift set even more, but I'd already bought these and they were already sitting in the basement. And But if they do drop this one in a gift set, I will go back and get it just to have it in the box, in the gift set box. But I guess it won't be a Toys R Us exclusive anymore. Uh, um, and the bottom of this packaging, I'm gonna get it open. Pull this guy out of his box after so long. Almost thought I would never get it open, but here it is. Da -da -da -da. I love to unbox. Yeah, unboxing. One more tie. That guy out of there. Get his little pilot guy out of here. Box to the side. Unboxing is complete. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, ha. <laughs> I thought I was missing his arm. It has been known to happen to me. I thought I was missing his arm, but it is tucked away for packaging reasons. All right. If, if you've seen my Grimlock review, you know my heart stopped when I didn't see the arm. Oh, that is funny right there. Yeah, my heart almost stopped it. And far as packing inside, it is the same material. For some people who might want to know or want to see, it's the, the same little catalog and black and white instructions. But this one, it shows you it's more to it, the batteries and all that. But the batteries are included, which is cool, which is very, very cool. Yes, it helps to sell it on the shelf so people can come by and, and do that right there. Hit the button. So, trying to get this stuff off of here. And keep it rolling. Now, I noticed uh, trying to set them down. His articulation feels very limited. His legs. Let's light this thing up. At the hip. Fire lasers. All right, give me a second. At the hip doesn't come any further than this forward. So he's uh, he's kind of stuck, kicked out. He he won't be able to sit down or anything. This is far forward as this large hip drum will go forward. I guess due to the Voltron, but I don't know. It seems like they could have accommodated a little bit better, you know. But I guess it is a kid's toy. So um, while I'm at it, since we're, we're, I'm doing articulation, I'm doing articulation. He has a thigh swivel here. Turns about that much. It's probably more useful in Voltron mode than this mode, but it's there in this mode. His knee comes back that far. Of course, won't go forward. And he has the upper calf. I don't know what that is. And the ankle right there. There's no articulation in the the little silver painted claws coming forward in the forward there's nothing hindering this piece but this is far forward as it as the shoulder will come so you really can't have them with that lurching forward type look that pouncing that for, for whatever reason for whatever reason that's it where's oh okay i'm hitting that button and then if you come down to what i guess we call this elbow bend. It can come um, this far forward. And I think it has that extreme uh, posability right there because of the lack in the shoulder. And again, he has the, I don't even know what area of the biology this is. His forearm ratchet that allows that to come forward. And then the, the paw itself will, or maybe it won't. Let me move this out of the way. And the paw itself, no, the, this, the front paw, no, mine was just very stiff. It has some ratchet into it, which I don't know what, what, why you would double it up like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of pointless. They should have had more here and just left that out. It would have been good. More here, here, and here it was just fine, just like the rest of the lines. But anyway, that, that's the articulation. And then the funny thing is, the big guys, I thought would have the most or, or a little bit of a letdown as far as the articulation. I think that bugs me with the lack of artic articulation here and here in both the Black Lions. It really bugs me. Okay, let's take a look at his face sculpt. 
It looks pretty good. It looks like the cartoon. And on the, this little blue is like the little glowing power source throughout the Voltron on a cartoon and throughout their ships and all that. It's like it has this little glow. It has a few over here, and this is not really painted in that well over there. And it's painted in a lot better on this side. He has silver paint around his neck, some gold, some blue, which almost looks like a face painted in there and with a voice speaker and a mouth or something. Uh, like a creature under there. Uh, the silver's good. This is gray here. He has some of that same blue going on in there. Sorry about that. Same over here. And the paws are look to be a black plastic with silver paint right here and this is gray plastic gray plastic and his head now articulation he, he has a little bit of movement in his neck his head itself can look down but nothing really up these guys there's nothing up he's got to get up and go up and you really can't sit him back to make him look like he's looking up so if you're playing with you got to get him up the look up which is kind of a bummer his mouth opens that far before it reveals Voltron doesn't have really like big teeth he's like a old worn out gum in his food type lion and, and the way they do it like these guys this version all, and all his counterparts look a little bit goofy to me look like oh, they kind of look like Tigger got that Tigger face from Winnie the Pooh and his tail Come back to his tail. His tail is a hard, rigid plastic, unlike the others. It's not soft at all, and it just only goes forward and back. There's no rotation to it. This is all you get right here. It really doesn't tuck or hide anywhere. It's just boom, that's it. Boom, that's it. Um, Let's his, light this thing up. His wings. Fire lasers. It's like they, his wings are, I can get it in camera. His wings are a two piece. But they don't articulate beyond this. Uh, you, they look like they would be able to bend down from here. The way it's designed. I wonder why they didn't make it all one piece. And they come up and down. In this mode. You can lay them flat. In this mode. I'm trying to get them all in. He's kind of big. Bring them out that far. Bring them in this far. And I believe they just sit up like this on the cartoon. Yeah, he, he's kind of weird. He's not... I'm not as comfortable with this guy as I thought I would be just being the centerpiece and just knowing the black lion because most of the time if you had Voltron and you, when you were a kid if you only got a couple of them you got the black lion all right and here is his little pilot guy just like the rest you can see him and you put your little finger in here it has a little ridge there and open that up and he flies in here and docks right there and probably will never ever see the light of day after I close this up again. And there he is in there. And now to do his little sound bites, which I've been doing by accident the whole time. And we're gonna look at his chest while we do it. Form Voltron! We need to increase firepower! We will save the universe! Let's assemble Voltron and get rid of these Golra! Yeah, it's I'm, I'm got Voltron back to the same phrases the and it, it changes the order. I just heard it change the order. You just heard it change the order. Um been watching the little series a little bit more. Um trying to check it out, trying to get into it, but I don't know. I don't know. They, they I had to stumble across a really good series a really good episode to get me to watch this series full time. But it's cool to know Voltron is out there. He'll always be out there and be around. I hope these guys and I'll probably say it again throughout the review. I hope these guys make 
uh, standing villain for Voltron. I thought that was the only flaw in the history of Voltron. He never had uh, a villain to go up against his bot form. There's always a new road beast getting tore down, beat down, or whatever every day on the cartoon or every week, whatever, whatever it aired. But he never had a classic villain. Yeah, I'm going to scoot this guy over a little bit and bring in my 30th anniversary for a little bit of size comparison at this point. Here he is, and here's how these guys compare in size. And the thing I didn't like about the 30th anniversary is you see how this head is sculpted like the vintage Matchbox version, or what I know as the vintage version that I had as a kid. It's, it's a little bit beefier and wider. And it's very distinctive, and it's what I remember from as a kid. In this 30th anniversary version, they chose to like elongate the face and make it a lot thinner. If you see what it is that I'm talking about. And on this figure, in place of the what would be the number one, you have the on-off switch right there. I don't know if I brought that up. And I don't know if I talked about his tail. We will defend this planet! But his tail just folds forward. And his wings actually peg together, which is cool, because it makes it like a shield on his back instead of just having a little gap. But his, his tail can fold up and tuck underneath there if you wanted to. He'll soon be defeated by Voltron, defender of the universe. Yeah, and I gotta learn to stop hitting that. It's kind of getting annoying. Yeah, I think that's all I can say about these guys. And they're both still in stores now. I got like a red drop bleed right there. Both of these guys are still in stores now. I know this, like I said, this guy's on clearance in most places. I don't know about this one. And I know at one time they did go on clearance, and I couldn't find my receipt and get these guys adjusted because I still have them in the box. And this nose paint could be a lot better. And then he has some bleeding up here. Noticing that. But um, still in stores. Pretty cool figure. And if, you, if you're only getting one, I would get this one. I said I don't like the way he stands, the way his paws are made. I, I maybe I'm just not used to looking at this version. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to hate on it, but uh, for my money, this this gorgeous head. Oh man, you can almost hear this guy purr. Anyway, this is a much better pickup if you're grabbing one. But I'm looking forward to putting them both together. And spoiler alert: this is not the Voltron merger review. And I am George, the 80s Transformer fan, saying I'll see you soon at the Merger Review. Transform!